This video is brought to you by AE Juice. You can get all access now at AE Juice. From transitions, title, the effects, overlays, LUTs, and many more, with 100,000 plus assets, all in one place with unlimited download. Get access to current and future products. Drag and drop to bring your project to life. Don't wait, now get all access at aejuice.com and start editing your project. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have imported my files required for this project. You can download them from below link in the description. Now let's see how to create this logo reveal. Create a new composition. I will name it as fire logo. Set time duration to 2 seconds. Perfect. Now let's add the logo to the timeline. Here you can also add your text. Here I will scale my logo, you can scale your logo if needed. Let's pre-compose it. Name it as logo. Select move all attribute into new composition. For this logo composition. Now from layer. Select auto trace. This will create mask outline for the logo. Now for this logo composition. In effects. In video copilot. Select Seba, if you can't see this Seba, you need to install Seba plugin. Download link is provided in the description. Now change preset to, Replicant. Change glow color, as shown. Now in customize core, set core type to, Layer Mask. You can hide this mask by clicking on toggle mask visibility, now let's make few changes, set glow intensity to, 50%, set glow speed to, 1.10, set glow bias to, 0.30, set core size to, 0.80, here you are free to make this changes, depending on your logo and text the output will be slightly different, now set end size to, 0%, in render setting, Set composite setting to transparent. Perfect. Here our Saba one is created. Now let's create duplicate of the logo composition. For this Saba, we will change preset to fire. Set glow intensity to 25%. Change core size to 3. Here we will set mask evolution to, 180 degree. Set end offset to, 35%. Set halo intensity to, 180%. Set halo size to, 300. Here you are free to make the changes according to your logo or text. Here you can see each composition effect. Now select both composition, pre-compose them. Name it as Sab logo. For this Sab composition, in effects and preset, search for fast box blur. Add it to the composition. Here I will set blur radius to 70. Select repeat edge pixels. Set iteration to 1. Now let's create duplicate. For duplicate, set blur radius to 3. For below Seba, we will set opacity to 25%. Perfect. Now from project panel, add the crack media file to the timeline.
scale this layer to fit the composition. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as Noise. Now in Effects and Preset, search for Fractal Noise. Add it to the Noise layer, for Fractal Noise, select Invert. Now set Contrast to, 250. Set Brightness to, minus 20. Now while pressing Alt key, click on Stopwatch of Evolution, Enter Expression, Time 200. You can see the preview. Now for Crack Layer, change Track Mat to, Luma Mat Noise. Perfect. Select Noise and Crack Layer, pre-compose them. I will name it as Fractal Noise. Now add the logo composition to the timer line. For Fractal Noise, change Track Mat to Alpha Mat Logo. Now select Logo and Fractal Noise Composition. Pre-compose them, name it as Logo Noise. For Logo Noise Composition, in Effects and Preset, search for Tint. Add it to the Logo Composition. Now change color as shown. Now in Effects and Preset, search for Glow. Add it to the logo composition. Perfect. Now select all compositions, pre-compose them, name it as Reflection. Now create a new solid. This will be our background layer. Place it below Reflection Composition. Now let's add the logo composition to the timeline. For logo composition, in Effects and Preset, search for Simple Choker. Add it to the logo composition. Set Choke Mat to, 3. Now for Reflection, change Track Mat to, Alpha Mat Logo. Now add logo noise composition to the timeline. In Effects and Preset, search for Tint. Add it to the Logo Noise Composition. Now change color as shown. Now in Effects and Preset, search for Glow. Add it to the Logo Noise Composition. Set the Glow Threshold to near about 25%. Set Glow Radius to, 25. Now let's add the Seba composition to the timeline. For Seba, change mode to Add. Now add the Particle composition to the timeline. Change mode to Add. In Effects and Preset, search for Tint. Add it to the Particle layer. Now change color as shown. Now for all composition, change it to 3D. Now create a camera. Create null object. Change Null to 3D. Parent Camera to Null Object. For Null, press P to bring up Position. Now at 20 frames, create Keyframe for Position. Now at 1 second and 10 frames, again create Keyframe for Position. Now at Start, reduce the Z Position value as shown. Now at end of timeline, increase that position value as shown.
Now select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease, now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now you can see the preview. Perfect, here our Saba logo or text reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.